Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrats demand Trump's immediate arrest after what was spotted in his golf bag. It seems that every week the liberal media has a new Trump scandal that they're pushing, hoping it will be what prematurely ends his first presidential term. President Donald Trump doesn't golf nearly as much as his predecessor, yet any time spent on the green seems to be a major issue for his detractors. While their criticism of his reasonable about of tea time has been loudly and largely criticized, it's not that he was golfing this time that they had an issue with, it's what they saw in his bag that they had an even bigger issue with. In immediate response of rage, the left is insisting that Trump pay a heavy price for this, specifically, the maximum sentence of six months in jail. According to Newsweek, President Donald Trump recently combined two of his favorite activities, playing golf and putting his mark on things, by ordering dozens of golf tee markers with the presidential seal of the United States on them, ProPublica reported Monday. But putting the presidential seal on tees holds more illegal weight than selling hats with Make America Great Again on them, in fact, it might be illegal. Federal law states that the seal of the president can only be used for official government affairs, ProPublica reports, and using the seal incorrectly could carry the penalty of up to six months in jail, The Hill reported Monday. Eagle Sign and Design, the sign and metalworking company ordered to create the T-markers, would not disclose to ProPublica who had placed the order. However, ProPublica and WNYC saw an order form that listed the customer as Trump International. Trump's family business being run by his sons Eric and Donald Jr. while he serves as president. President Trump isn't the only president who has misused the presidential seal. In fact, both Barack Obama and George Bush put the seal on golf balls, and Ronald Reagan used it on some China he owned. It is hard to fathom that the left is so desperate to find anything they can attack the president with, that they waste the time to investigate such a petty offense. Newsweek explains. Former Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush both put the presidential seal on specially made golf balls, and Ronald Reagan owned a set of China that bore the seal, the New York Post reported. But what makes Trump's tea markers different is that the seal is being used by a private company, according to Richard Painter, who serves as vice chairman of the government watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, the New York Post reported. Kathleen Clark a Washington University law professor who specializes in government and legal ethics, described this law as an expression of the idea that the government and government authority should not be used for private purpose, the New York Post reported. Clark added that violation of this law would be a misuse of government authority. Eagle Sign and Design has manufactured other signs that have appeared on Trump's courses, its website shows according to ProPublica. When popular satirical news source The Onion put the seal on its website in 2005, President George W. Bush's administration ordered them to remove it. Associate White House Counsel Grant M. Dixon wrote a letter to The Onion on how severe he felt the offense was, The New York Times reported at the time. It has become laughable to see what the liberal media will come up with each week. Golf tee markers, however, may take the cake. As the weekly witch hunt continues, there's no end in sight to these increasingly ridiculous claims and attacks, that seek out anything and everything to use against him in a pointless pursuit to impeach him. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.